Hello everyone, welcome to you on Think Future Academy channel. Today we are going to learn about CAD chart that includes project plan and actual in one view. We also add the project progress bar for each task so we can keep track of percentage completed. Let's begin. You can see here one Gantt chart which I prepared for you is plan versus actual and current status. This is showing the current status. This orange is plan and actual is here this one and these are the plan days. So these three options are here and one fourth option which is giving you the current status. You can see it here. Uh, so, we will begin from our data. This is my data which I prepared and these are the tasks and dates which we are going to make it now. I am going to delete this one. The first of all, one more important thing but we are going to explain it. You can see here my date format is in this format now and if I am going to insert any chart, what it will do? You can see it here. As of now, I inserted one chart and it is automatically calculating, automatically looking at the data and creating a chart. Here you can see the tasks and dates are available and here, but we do not want this one. We need a Gantt chart like I will explain it to you. You can see it here task and I am going to convert these dates into numbers. General format I put it. Now when I am creating the chart you will see it here. It is creating with two different options here now. Orange and blue lines. Now the first thing what you need to do to change the order. This is reverse order, we will put it back in our order what we are looking for. Just come this option, x axis option and come down categories in reverse order. Now you can see the dates are up and order is here. I am going to remove the legend. I am going to remove these bars as well. I will change the color of this one. I do not need any color, no line and you can see my dates starting from here. Here is a gap. I, just, I will just click on the dates and you will come here on the bar chart x axis option and choose this number either above or equals to this number double four two eight zero. I am selecting and you will see my bars are moving towards left side and space is there with me now. Now I am looking for the actual days completed okay and these are the my actual days completed. How I calculated? I multiply by this percentage and it is giving me the actual number of days completed. I will just click here the blue error bars and what I will do it now, I will come here and I will mention here data error bars, error bars. I select these ones and I will go to further more options and this horizontal error bar will be in front of us now. Now I am going to make it plus, no cap and custom. Specify value, I am going to give it these values to it. Okay, and you can see it is available here. Now come on the painter. Here I am going to choose width 6. You can increase it more as you are looking to fit in. Okay. This is first thing what we have do, did it. Now it is showing you plan versus actual. I want to change the color of this one. You can change the colors as well. I am going to change uh, the color as actual green. Okay, now it is green. Now we need to formulate this area as a current date 
I used here current date formula. Now I am going to click right click select data and add start plan date and values what I am going to explain it here now I will give these this one why I gave you I will show you that one see now it is bringing that information here as a part of the chart just click here go to chart types and change this option start plan date to scatter bar and on your right side you can see it here up to 9 numbers are available with us now. Why I created this one? This chart its starting point is 0 and we are going to make these plan according to this these dates. We are defining these numbers matching to the area where we are going to plot our start date. Now you will see here what I am going to click on the right select data start plan date add it and x axis value you will define it to this number. You can see it here one dot appears here now just click on this dot go to plus sign and error bars and you can see horizontal and vertical bars are available we need these bars and we are keeping these bars and I am going to click on plus no cap and I am going to give this this data range already with it. So number of days we can give it to it that how many days are there. So if I will put these specify the days positive numbers are here this one I am going to keep it here now you can see line is extended and I am going to make it this 8.25 and I will change the plan date color is this one. Now you can see it here clearly all information are available now and this dot if you want to remove it just click on this one come to the marker no fill no line and it is removed now from here. Now I want to create this current date just click on this area select data add start date x axis value is this one current date and y axis value is this one ok. Now you can see it here this data is available sometimes you will not find this thing what you will do you will come to here in the series option and you can find these error bars or information and you can select it from here. Now it is available with us and I am going to make it uh, different uh, uh, scenarios now with it ok. Solid line I need a solid line and I need a color uh, somewhere purple and I need error bar error arrows ok. These lines these are the different options which you can use it ok and I will make little bit thicker and now you can see it here the current status it is available with us now and here I am going to change the format of the date as well. So the dates will appear as per our plan here. Now you can see it here just click on the data here on the edge of the arrow right click and add label. Here just right click and come to the format series name. It is appearing the series name as well ok I do not want it you can see it here and series name. You noticed one thing earlier it was showing all the names here when I was selecting you can see it here. I did the control Z just for your information. It was showing the complete dates, but what I want I do not want this I just want to select uh, this option I will I am going to remove it now ok and you can see only 8.1 I will just click again on the end it is grey now and when series name I am going to 
address it, it is giving me start plan date. You can put this series on right, above, below, center, I'm, I need it on the above. I can make this filling and make it little bit bigger and bold. I will remove this value. Okay. Now, you can see all your data, your information is populated here. These dots are appearing. What you need to do it, just click on any of the dot, come here and on the come on the marker, no fill, no line. Now, it is very clear now and you can see the status. Okay. Here, I need label option, x axis value not, okay. start plane date. You can see it here, it is showing here in this August area. So, it is there now. This is our chart. Sign off to design date. And now I am going to write the chart information that what is this chart. You can make this one as well. Bold and you can increase the font as per your format and everything what you are looking for. See here this plan is also ending on some date 27, 26 of August. And here we are in a current scenario, you know, on uh, here. You can fix these dates as well in the same manner, okay. If you will see here, this date is there and you can just see it number, come here and you can define this number as well, triple four, three four. And you can see it here. We need to little bit increase the number. You can see it here. We make it this up to 1st September it will go and here it will finish. Now you can see it here. Okay, our plan dates and date is here and here we are going to close it when it, it is going to be closed. You know, all the calculation is here with us now up to September it will. 16th September it is closing. I am going to make it up to 16th September this data. So, number is double four five five five, and I will make it 60. Now, you can see up to 21st of September the data is available with us. This is our current date. So, these, this is our uh, Gantt chart plan. Here, this one is our actual. This orange is plan dates and this is required number of days as per the plan what we were looking for that it may take 31 days, but it finished in 24 actual dates, but it actually finished in 21 days. So, all this information is available with us now at one chart. Thank you very much.